Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's go ahead and begin to worship the Lord. Let's lift up our voices. Let's begin to adore Him. Let's begin to exalt His holy name. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be worshipped. He's worthy to be magnified. There is no one like Him. There has never been anyone like Him. There can never be anyone like Him. There will never be anyone like Him. Let's worship our God. Let's worship our Savior. Let's worship our Redeemer. Let's worship Immortal. Let's worship Invisible. Let's worship the only one. Wise God, the one that has been before the creations, the one that will ever be after all have gone, is the beginning to all things, is the ending to all things. Father, I worship you. Father, I magnify you. Father, I glorify your holy name. I lift you on high. I declare there is no one like you. I declare there was no one like you. I declare there will never be anyone like you. You are higher than the highest. You are better than the best. You are bigger than the bigger. You are the most high you are the almighty i bow before your majesty i worship your excellency blessed 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 be your name lord blessed 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 be your name my king blessed 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 be your name my redeemer you are worthy oh lord you are the one that speak and it is done you are the god that open and no one can shut and when you shut no one can open you are the almighty you are the soon coming king, you are the reigning king, you are the powerful, the all powerful God, you are the Lord of all. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Miracle working God, miracle working God, you are the great healer, you are our great deliverer. Oh, blessed be your name, the unchangeable changer, the God that changes not but can change all things. Lord, I worship you, Lord, I magnify you, Lord, I adore you, Lord. I glorify your name. Blessed, blessed, blessed be your name, Lord. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. Amen. Let's lift up our voice and let's begin to thank him. Let's thank him for his goodness. Let's thank him for what he has done. Let's thank him for his mercy. Let's thank him for his compassion. Let's thank him for fighting in our battle. Let's thank him for all he has been doing for us. In all ways, you know God has been good to you. Can you please go ahead and begin to thank him? Father, thank you. Jesus, thank you. Saviors, thank you. Redeemer, thank you. My God, thank you. My all in all, thank you. The God of yesterday. The God of today, the God of always, thank you for being there for me. Thank you for what you did for me. Thank you for what you are doing for me. Thank you for what you will yet do for me. Thank you for the victory that I have in you. Thank you for fighting in all my battle. Thank you for ruling away all my shame. Thank you for not allowing the enemy to rejoice over my life. Thank you, oh God, for your provision. Thank you for your thank you for healing. Thank you for my health. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for turn around. Thank you, O oh God, for your hand that is upon me for good. Father, I am grateful, O oh Lord. Thank you for my own. Thank you for my ministry. Thank you for my calling. Thank you for my wife. Thank you for my children. Thank you, O oh God, for preservation. Father, I am grateful. Jesus, I am grateful. Savior, I am grateful. Thank you, O oh Lord, for your abiding presence. Thank you for being my God. Thank you for being my King. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, O oh Lord. Thank you, O Lord. Thank you for watching over me, Lord. You watch over me in the day. You watch over me in the night. You did not allow, O God, the trap of the enemy, O God, to succeed against me. You caused your fire to go ahead of me, always destroying all the enemies on my path, destroying all the trap of the enemy. Father, I am grateful. Jesus, I am grateful. Savior, I am grateful. Most high God, I am grateful. Thank you, my daddy. Thank you. Thank you, my God. Thank you, my King. Thank you, my Redeemer. Thank you, my all in all. Blessed, blessed, blessed be your name, O Lord. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, 
We pray. Amen. We want to ask God now for mercy. Is there any way you have uh, is there any way you have sinned against God? You want to cry to him, let him show you mercy and let him forgive you every of your sin now, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and ask for mercy. Father, I come before you, O God. I ask for mercy, O God, in any way that I've sinned against thee, in any way that I've wronged thee, in any way that I've disobeyed thee, in any way that I've gone contrary to your instruction. Father, please have mercy mercy on me and forgive me. Ancient of day, have mercy on me and forgive me. Eternal Redeemer, have mercy on me and forgive me. God of heaven and earth, have mercy on me and forgive me. Father, have mercy, O Lord. Father, have mercy, O Lord. Whatever sin the enemy, O God, Satan is reporting, O God, before you concerning me. Lord, remember the blood of Jesus. O Lord, remember, O God, the blood that was shed for the remission of my sin. Father, in your mercy, forgive me of my sin. In your mercy, forgive me my sin. Father, please forgive me. 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 Forgive me of every sin. Forgive me of every unrighteousness. Forgive me of every iniquity. Forgive me in all ways that I've seen. Father, please forgive me, Lord. Jesus, forgive me. Jesus 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 forgive me. Forgive me, O Lord. Forgive me, O Lord. Forgive me, O Lord. Forgive me, O Lord. Father, please forgive me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Faithful Father, in Jesus mighty name we pray amen you want to command every battle against your destiny let that battle let it backfire always whoever whatever that raises battle against your destiny let it backfire always in the name of jesus christ are you ready to pray somebody say every battle against my destiny can you say it with all boldness? Say every battle against my destiny, I command back fire by fire always in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. I say, go ahead and cry to God. Make that declaration. Make that decree. Make that prayer. Let every battle against your destiny, let it backfire always. Whether the battle is there or the battle is about to come, let it backfire always. Let no battle succeed henceforth against your destiny. Every battle against my destiny, I command in the name of Jesus Christ, we are backfire by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Battle against my destiny, backfire by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Battle against my destiny, we are backfire by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Battle against my destiny, we are backfire by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Battle against my destiny, we are backfire by fire in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, battle against my destiny, backfire by fire, in the name of Jesus Christ. Male koso pale nolo she pradili zontre lilish kolo bradish kala boboboja. Every battle against my destiny, I command in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, backfire by fire, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every battle against the destiny of my children, I command it to backfire by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every battle against the destiny of my wife, I command it to backfire by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every battle against my destiny, every battle against the destiny of my children, every battle against the destiny of my wife, I command in the name of Jesus, we oh, yeah, are backfire by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Backfire in the name of Jesus Christ, but fire in the name of Jesus Christ, but fire in the name of Jesus Christ, but fire in the name of Jesus Christ. No battle will prosper against my destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. No battle will prosper against the destiny of my children in the name of Jesus Christ. No battle will prosper against the destiny of my wife in the name of Jesus Christ. Every battle against my destiny, I command 
in the name of Jesus Christ, back fire by fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, battle against the destiny of my children, back fire by fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, battle against the destiny of my wife, oh yeah, back fire by fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, maleko sutala da leko sheheli brada lihandaba, him brada lolo zoro ko jege lega da gada baba baba zoro do shenderi anda, him brada li zoro ko shekele brada zoli anda la kosha halabu sadaria, thank you faithful father, in Jesus mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You want to pray this prayer? You want to cry to the God of heaven and the earth to recover for you now by fire every good things that have that you have ever lost in life, every good things that any battle have taken out of your life. Let God of heaven and earth is your ally. Let Him recover for you now by fire. Are you ready to pray? Somebody say, "Oh God of heaven and the earth." Can you please call him with all your heart? Say, oh God of heaven and the earth. Okay, call him just one more time. Say, oh God of heaven and the earth, you are my ally. Therefore, recover for me now by fire every good thing that I've ever lost in life. God of heaven and earth, you are my ally. Therefore, recover for me now every good things that I've ever lost in life. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth, begin to pray that prayer. Cry to your ally. Let him arise for your defense. Let him recover for you what was taken away from you by powers that is humanly beyond you. Let him recover for you oh, what was taken away from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God of heaven and earth, recover for me now. Every good thing is taken out of my life. Recover for me now by fire. Every good thing is stolen out of my life. Recover for me now by fire. Fire. Every good thing taken out of my destiny, recover for me now by fire. Every good thing stolen out of my destiny, oh God of heaven and earth, recover for me now in the name of Jesus Christ. Recover for me now in the name of Jesus Christ. Recover for me now in the name of Jesus Christ. Recover for me now in the name of Jesus Christ. Recover for me now in the name of Jesus Christ. Recover for me now in the name of Jesus Christ, recover for me now. Maleko skola la 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 bo jaja imbra deli lu zuri ende leko shkala da da bo. Recover for me in the name of Jesus Christ. All that was taken away from me, all that was stolen from me, Father, recover any good thing. The powers of the night have stolen out of my life. The powers of the night have stolen out of my destiny. Father, recover for me tonight in the name of. Jesus Christ. You are my ally. Recover for me now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every good thing, the power of my father's house, foundational power, have stolen out of my life, out of my destiny, out of my foundation. Oh God of heaven and earth, recover for me tonight. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Every good thing that has been stolen out of the life, the destiny of my children. Oh God of heaven and earth. Recover for my children tonight by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every good thing that has been stolen out of the life of my wife, out of our destiny. Father, recover for up tonight by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God of heaven and earth. You are my Allah. Recover for me now. Recover for me now. Recover for me now. Recover for me now. Mando sute le brodo sheke le brada la koske le brada zodori anda. Him brada lush karadu satale brade sheheli handa rada boza. Him brodo zuzu i brada koske le brodo ja. Ela gada gaya. Brodo sete le brodo sheheli barada busha ha. Irudo zuzu i brada le koske le regolobo sheke le kor Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. 
Amen. Father, we thank you for answers to our prayers. Thank you, O oh God, for being our ally. Thank you, O oh God, for victory we always enjoy in you. Thank you, O oh Lord, for victory we have always by you. Thank you, O oh God, for what you are set to do tonight. As we briefly go into your world, we pray you speak to us. By your word, let our destiny be secured the more. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, eternal Redeemer. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. I want to welcome you once again to this service. Amen. Uh, and I know that God has something special for you tonight, even in the name of Jesus Christ. We are still looking at battles against destiny. Battles against destiny. Amen. And we're looking at steps to victory. Amen. We've discussed the first step. We said the first step is you must have an ally in God. Amen. That God, if you make God your ally, you need an ally to win this battle. And the best ally you can get is God. Amen. Then number two, we also said you must know your destiny. And then you must know what is written concerning you. Amen. Just, I mean, Joseph knew his destiny. That was why he was not perturbed when he was going through all that he went through, even though it was not easy on his own part. But he knew where he was going. Amen. He knew where he was going. He knew it was not just, he, he was not just living, it was not just, his life was not at the mercy of chances. Amen. So he knew his destiny and he kept at it and eventually he fulfilled his destiny. Praise the Lord. Now today we want to continue on that second point. Amen. Now we're looking at those that knew because we said you must know your destiny. You must know what is written concerning you that will ensure your victory in battles against destiny. So that when the battle is raging, since you know because part of the battle will be oh, there will be other options that will be temptation to abandon, you know, the right way. Amen. So if you don't know, you will always pick anything. If you don't know, you always take any road. But when you know, amen, you will hold on to that that you know. Amen. All the waves, the winds, oh God, that are contrary would not be enough to sweep you away. Why? Because you know where you are going. Amen. So another personality we are looking at was our Lord Jesus Christ. He knew what was written concerning him. Amen. He knew his destiny. He knew his destiny and he knew what was written concerning him. Amen. Now, if you look at the book of Luke chapter 6, uh, chapter 4, Luke chapter 4, Amen. Let me read verse 16 to uh, 23, Luke chapter 4. From verse 16, he said, And he came to Nazareth, now talking about our Lord Jesus Christ, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are what, that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book. Amen. He closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all of them were in this that were in the synagogue were fasting on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Amen. And all bear in witness and wonder at the gracious word which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is not this? Joseph's sons. Amen. Now, he said, see, I know why I'm here. Amen. So, I mean, he knew the script. He, he, he read to them, you know, why he, he, he was there in the flesh that it has been written. This is the script that I'm, I was asked to manifest. Amen. And he opened to them and he read it and he said, well, this day, that from today, you begin to see the manifestation of this. Now, he knew why he came. Amen. He, he knew his destiny. Amen. You know, so what... Uh, 
it, it became impossible for him to settle for other things. Many people have subjected their life to trial and error. They try this, they try that. Oh, why? Because they don't know what their destiny is all about. Amen. And people like that are easy prey in the hands of the enemy. Amen. But Jesus Christ, so you must know your destiny. Then you must know what is written concerning you. Amen. You must know your destiny. Amen. Now, even when Satan, you know, sublet, tried to use Peter, you know, to, to stand against his destiny, he sharply resisted it. Amen. Oh, there was a time, you know, I mean, Satan knew, I mean, I mean, yeah, Satan never wanted him to fulfill his destiny. Amen. So he tried all means, you know, this time around, he decided to come in through Peter. Amen. Oh, to stop him. You know, to let him know that, you see, you don't need to go through this. You don't need to live like this. Amen. But he knew the way he has to live. He knew what he has to go through. Amen. So when Peter was trying to, you know, uh, you know uh, deceptively, you know, encourage him not to suffer, he knew it was not Peter. That there was a spirit of Peter. That is Satan. That was operating him and he rebuked sharply. Matthew chapter 16. Matthew chapter 16, look at verse 21 to 23. Matthew chapter 16, he said, And from that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciple, to show unto his disciple how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elder and chief priests and scribe and be killed and be raised again the third day. Now listen to verse 22. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. Now listen to verse 22, uh, 23. But but he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me, for thou sufferest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. Amen. Now he, he realized that it was not Peter. Amen. That it was the enemy of his destiny. Amen. He was saying what he would go through. And Peter, oh, you know, tried to show him and say, No, 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 sir. You must, no, no, no. You, uh, you will not be killed. No, you must not. You will not suffer. You will not. Amen. Now, he was indirectly saying, No, you will not fulfill this destiny. You will not fulfill your purpose of coming. Amen. Now, if he didn't know, he would have said, It is true, you know. Uh, uh, and so what do, what do we do? If I will not suffer, what do we do? Yeah, they will have said, well, then don't go to Jerusalem. Amen. Then he will have what? He will have not fulfilled his death. But because he knew his, that he was able to sharply rebuke that. He said, shut up. Don't say I will not fulfill my destiny. When Peter was saying, this shall not be. Amen. When Peter was saying to her, it was like a curse. Amen. That this shall not be unto thee. Amen. He said, this shall not be unto thee. You will not fulfill this. Amen. He said, shut up. You are, you are an offense unto me. You are the enemy of my destiny right from the beginning. Now, Jesus was able to stand firm. Why? Because he knew what? He knew his destiny. Amen. He knew what he was meant to do. He knew what he was meant. He knew the script that was handed over uh, to him from heaven to act out in life. Amen. Now, that was why even in the book of John chapter 18, verse 37, John chapter 18, verse 37, amen. Oh, prior to that time when Pilate was saying, are you a king, he said, look, to this end I was born. Now he knew to what end he was born. He knew to what purpose. He knew to, he's not saying, eh, well, eh, eh, they have been saying, it. oh, I, I would have loved to be, oh, amen. He knew. So, I mean, he, he was not, he was not guessing. So, that helped him to be able to overcome all the tricks of the enemy to stop him from fulfilling his destiny. He knew what he must fulfill. Amen. So, all the battles to distract him from fulfilling it, he was able to overcome because he knew what he must fulfill. Amen. He knew what he must fulfill. Amen. No, that was why he knew he has to be king. Amen. But he has to be king by God. God has to crown him. God has to make him to sit as the right hand in every place, far above all. Amen. God has to give him a name that is above every other name. Amen. He has to be the king. Amen. But suddenly, you know, the enemy still came. Amen. To say, I mean, to give him alternatives. Amen. In the book of John chapter 6, some people tried to make him, forcefully make him king. Amen. He would have yielded and said, okay, well, king is king. Amen. If he didn't know. Amen. Or you would have simply accepted the offer. John chapter, let's look at it. John chapter 6, verse 14, verse 14 to, verse 14 and 15. John chapter 6, John chapter 6, let's look at John chapter 6, 
Amen. Verse 14 and 15. Amen. You see, then those men, when they have seen the miracles that Jesus did, said, This is of a true, that prophet that should come into the world. When Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain himself alone. Amen. He knew what he knew his destiny. He knew the time for his destiny. He knew what to do. Amen. I mean, so every distraction, every battle, every temptation he was able to work, he was able to overcome. So he refused to yield to them. Amen. Because he knew that was not part of his destiny. Amen. So friends, you, you must know your destiny. You must know what you are, what you, I mean, what you are sent to fulfill on earth. You must know the script that was handed over to you. It will help you to overcome every battle. It will give you victory in battle against that destiny. You can only defend what you know. You can't defend what you did not know. I mean, so it's high time, friend, you know what your destiny is. It's high time if you have not discovered your destiny, you need to cry to God. Let God give you the revelation of your destiny. Let God reveal to you the script he handed over to you from heaven to come and act out in life. Let God show you your purpose on earth. Amen. When you know, you'll be able to defend it. You'll be able to overcome all the battles against it. That are, that are but if you don't know, amen, you become an easy prey in the hands of the enemy. So if there's a prayer, friends, that you must cry to God, is what? Is Lord. I mean, if, it does, if you don't know, reveal to me my destiny. Let me know this. Give me, let me understand it so that I will not be easily distracted. Or if you have been distracted from it, then you can quickly return back. You must have understanding of what your destiny is. It will help you in overcoming or it will guarantee your victory in battles against your destiny. I mean, our Lord Jesus, when he was in the flesh, he knew. And that enabled him to overcome. That enabled, and enabled him to, 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 to be victorious in battles against his, that his destiny. He was able to defend, even when the alternative had come, when something close, even when it was so, when it got to a point that it seemed so unbearable, amen, he knew what he must achieve. He knew what his destiny was. And that kept him going. Amen. That kept him going. No wonder in the book of Hebrew, we are told, I mean, see, see, see a scripture, book of Hebrew chapter 12. Amen. He said, for the joy that was set before him, for the joy, that for his destiny. Amen. You know, uh, 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 Hebrew chapter 12, verse 2, he said, looking unto Jesus, being like Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. We must know, as you know, know your purpose, know your destiny. Amen. He said, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him. Amen. That was his destiny. The joy of fulfilling that destiny. Amen. That was set for him. He said, he endured the cross, you know, despising the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. He was destined to be king at the right hand. He was destined to sit at the right hand. That was his destiny. Amen. So when all was coming, was standing against him, he was bearing all because he knew where he was going. He knew his destination. Amen. Now, so the scripture said we should be like him. Friend, do you know your destiny? Do you know your purpose in life? Do you know that, that you are, you, do, you, do you know the script that you are handed over by God to act out in life, to fulfill a life? If you don't know, it is time to know. Amen. It will help you in battles. It will help you in, in, in having victory in battles against your destiny. So tonight, I want to pray some prayers and I want to encourage you. Please pray out. Pray with all your heart. And as God of heaven lives, it will help you to fulfill your destiny, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the first prayer you want to pray tonight, you want to cry to God. Let God give you a perfect revelation of your destiny. Amen. So that if your destiny has been taken away, oh, you will know. So that if you have been careless, so that if you have been careless with it, you become more serious. Let God give you a perfect revelation of your destiny. Are you ready to pray? Say, oh God of heaven and earth. Can you please call him with all your heart? Oh God of heaven and earth.
Okay, call him one more time. Oh God of heaven and earth, give me a perfect revelation of my destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, begin to pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Let God give you a perfect revelation of your destiny. Let God give you a perfect revelation of your destiny. Father, give me a perfect revelation of my destiny. Lord, you are the author of my life. You are the author of my life, there's a script you handed over to me, oh, to act out in life, to fulfill in life. Father, that's my destiny. Grant me perfect revelation of my destiny. Open your mouth and cry to God. Cry to him. You must know what you are created for. You must know what you are created for. You must not live this life by chances. You must not go through life by chances. Do not subject your life to chances. Let it not be any Anything go, you must know what you are aiming at. You must know what you are going for. Lord, grant me perfect revelation of my destiny. Oh Lord, grant me perfect revelation of my destiny. Oh Lord, grant me perfect revelation of my destiny. Oh Lord, grant me perfect revelation of my destiny. Oh Lord, grant me perfect revelation of my destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I don't want to miss it. Lord. I don't want to be overcome. Oh Lord, I don't want to be overcome, but I want to be an overcomer. I want to fulfill my destiny. But I must know to fulfill. Grant me perfect revelation, Lord. Grant me perfect revelation, Lord. Grant me perfect revelation of my destiny. Grant me perfect revelation of my destiny. Open your mouth, pray. <laughs> you must know before you can. It's only what you know that you can defend. It's only what you know that you can defend. Cry to him. Let him grant you perfect revelation of your destiny. Grant me, oh God. Mama Zorada, Ilia Lalalaba, in Korodo Zuzui and the Galia and the grant me perfect revelation of my destiny. Grant me perfect revelation of my destiny. Reveal to me my destiny, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me know my purpose on earth. Let me know my purpose where you have sent me. Grant me perfect revelation of my destiny, Lord. 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 Perfect revelation of of my destiny, law, perfect revelation of my destiny, law, perfect revelation of my destiny, law, perfect revelation of my destiny, law, mando soto palada de le colodo do jeke le carada da da centeri handa la la boshata ingrada la la da brunde keli handa do 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 perfect revelation of my destiny, o law, indoro do zunda da didi handa kali do shateli brada leko jeke le halada grant me perfect revelation, Lord of my destiny. Even in the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You want to pray this prayer? You want to command every counsel against your destiny? Let it backfire by fire. Whatever counsel, oh, let it backfire. Let it not stand. Let that counsel perish, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready to pray? Say, every counsel against my destiny. Can you say with boldness, say every counsel against my destiny, I command backfire by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Pray that prayer. Let no counsel that is against your destiny stand. Let no counsel that is against your destiny prosper. Let the counsel against your destiny, let it backfire by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, when Jesus mentioned his destiny to disciple, oh, Peter decided to give a counsel. Oh, he, you know, you know, the setter spoke through him and said, No, 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 no. Why must you go through this? Hey, hey, maybe he thought that master would have said, Hey, I know you love me, Peter. Thank you for being concerned. Thank you for being there. But the Lord said, the Lord rebuked the Lord said, Get thee behind this setter. Now the counsel backfire against him. Every counsel against my destiny. Oh, yeah, backfire. Fire by fire, every counsel against my destiny. Oh, yeah, backfire by fire. 
backfire. Cancel against my destiny. Oh, yeah, backfire. No cancel against my destiny shall prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, every cancel that is against my destiny shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, cancel against my destiny shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, cancel against my destiny shall not stand. In the name of Jesus Christ, cancel against my destiny shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, cancel against my destiny shall not stand. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth, pray that prayer. Open your mouth. Don't let any evil cancel. Hey, override your destiny. Don't let any evil cancel. Derail your destiny. Command the cancel not to stand. Command the cancel not to prosper. Every evil cancel, every cancel whatsoever against my destiny, it will not stand. I command backfire. It will not stand. I command backfire. Cancel against my destiny. It will not stand. Backfire in the name of Jesus Christ. Cancel against my destiny. It will not stand. Backfire in the name of Jesus Christ. Cancel against my destiny. It will not stand. Backfire in the name of Jesus Christ. Cancel against my destiny. It will not stand. Backfire in the name of Jesus Christ. Cancel against my destiny. It will not stand. Backfire in the name of Jesus Christ. Cancel against my destiny. It will not fire. It will not stand. Backfire. Maleko jodo do 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 do. Imbra do lo jagada. Hira da kasheke ne bro do do ja. Imbra da la la bo ja. Imbra do jagada ko jegele gele. Ragada gayagada. Cancel against my destiny. It will not stand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Cancel against my destiny. It will not stand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Cancel against my destiny. It will not stand in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You want to cry to God? Is your Father? Is your ally? Let Him recover for you by fire. If you have let Him recover your destiny for you by fire. Amen. If by adventure the enemy have succeeded against your destiny and is no longer, you know, you are no longer fulfilling it, let God recover for you, even your destiny. In the name of Jesus. Say, Oh Lord, my Father. Can you call him if he's your Father? Say, Oh Lord, my Father. Okay, call him one more time. Say, Oh Lord, my Father. You are my ally. Say, You are my ally. Recover for me now by fire my destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, oh God of heaven and air, you are my ally. Recover for me now by fire my destiny. Recover for me my destiny. Recover for me my destiny. Let my destiny not be lost. Let my destiny not be truncated. Let my destiny not be destroyed. Recover for me, Lord, oh Lord, my my father recover for me my destiny 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 recover for me, my destiny recover. For me, my destiny recover. For me, my destiny. Malekadagada, you are my ally, Lord. Recover for me, my destiny, Lord. My Father, my Father, my God, my King. Recover for me, my destiny. Recover now for me, my destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Malako zoprada leleboja. Imbradolo zimbrada le jegele kaka do 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 do. Imbrodo zuli ko jegele golo goye. Ye ge 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 ge. Mande kali kazo tori anda kali kali anda. Hele sotori anda liko she heli baba buri anda la. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus. Mighty name, we pray. Amen. I pray for you tonight in that name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus Christ. 
every battle against your destiny shall backfire always. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say, I command every battle against your destiny shall backfire always in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you need to know about your destiny, may God of heaven reveal to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask the God of heaven and earth to whom secret things belong. Oh, secret things belong to God, but that that is revealed belongs to us and our children. I ask the most high, let him grant you perfect revelation of your destiny from tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say, may God give you perfect revelation of your destiny tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, every counsel against your destiny, I decree it shall never prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever counsel raised against your destiny, it will never stand. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God of heaven recover for you every good things that has been stolen out of your life, out of your destiny. The God of heaven recover for you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. The God of heaven recover for you tonight your destiny. The God of heaven recover for you tonight your destiny. Surely as God lead, you will fulfill your glorious destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank Thank you, faithful Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Wow. What a service. What a fellowship tonight with him, with his power. Amen. I want to congratulate you tonight. Oh, because from now onward, you will always know what to do at every stage in life because you now have perfect understanding of of your destiny. Now, I want to give our offering in this service, and I want to encourage you, please, oh, uh, be mindful of the one you are praying unto. Amen. Respond to him as he's responding to you by your way of offering. Amen. So, bring out a wonderful offering to give to God tonight. Amen. Or there's a seed you want to release unto him, or maybe you want to release your tithe unto him. I tell you, this is a very fertile ground to receive your tithe unto the Lord. In the the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, behold your children that are proposed in their heart to give unto you their offering, their seed, or their tithe. Father, please stretch forth your hands and receive this, their giving of them in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father and my God, by their giving tonight, Lord, by their giving tonight, let there be a mighty, glorious turnaround in their life, in their finances, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this that they have given tonight multiply greatly in your hands and let it return back to them in a million fold in the name of Jesus Christ. And let it be used for the furtherance of your work on earth, even in the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now there's an account detail that is shown on the screen. Amen. You can send in that your offering, that your seed, that your tithe. And as you do so, the hand of the Lord is straight forth to receive of you. And surely it will respond back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The world is waiting to hear your testimony. Amen. Oh, I mean, uh, 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 let the world know what God is doing in your life. At the end of the service, there's a, there's a number you can send in, you know, whether by SMS or by WhatsApp message, you your testimony because God is doing greater things in your life in the name of Jesus. Don't keep it yourself. Amen. Share the glory of God to the world to know that your God is on your side and is working wonders even on your behalf. Can we share the grace in fellowship? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Say, I am God's fire on the move. I am God's fire on the move. I am God's fire on the move. At my appearance, darkness must disappear. I am God's fire on the move. Whatever that cannot stop God will not be able to stop me. 
I am God's fire on the move. Amen. One powerful hallelujah to the most high. Hallelujah. God bless you till I come your way again.